I'm wondering if we look into our hearts at this moment, what does your world need now? In this moment, what is it your heart is seeking? And do you belong to that which you seek? Or have you found that the one who is seeking is the only one that can ever be found? In Matthew 6, it says, do not store up your treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy, where thieves break in and steal, but store up yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. So where is the treasure in our hearts in this moment? Your treasure is simply that to which your heart now belongs. And for that which your heart more deeply longs for. What does your heart now belong to? If I can say I am in heaven, then this heart belongs to heaven. And that cannot be taken away by anything of the earth. In this heart, there's deep belonging to stillness and to silence. And that belonging has no need for quietude, but rather sees in wondrousness for anything that can emerge from such profound invisible stillness and silence. It's wondrous and it's joyful because the heart belongs to that heaven of silence no matter what emerges. So seeing belonging in this manner to trace the seven steps. One who belongs to patience has no need for anything to look or feel any certain way and no need to control. One who belongs to tranquility has no need for placitude, no need to be free from turbulence. One who belongs to realization abides in the realization of true presence with no need. One who belongs to assurance abides in true faith with no need for any sense of false hope. One who belongs to radiance constantly serves to illuminate the field with no need for that to be evident or proven to anyone in any way. One who belongs to wisdom abides in the knowing of reality with no need to receive any recognition whatsoever for it. And one who belongs to love as Yoranda says, has no need for anything whatsoever, for love is all that is.